a very interesting event happened between the disciples of the Lord Jesus and the Master that is not often spoken about. And we will mention this event and what is the lesson behind. And you will learn with this biblical event what intelligent faith means, because God tells us to think and not just believe. Faith does not disregard intelligence, and those who are truly intelligent does not disregard faith, because they understand that faith is part of life and without it we cannot live. So let's remember this fact that you can read in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, from verse 13. Jesus, on the previous verses, had just multiplied the bread and fish and fed a crowd with thousands in a distant place where there was no money to buy food, neither a place to sell it. So it was a miracle, the most well-known miracles of the Lord Jesus, the multiplication of the bread and fish. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, departed to the other side. They were by the shores of the Sea of Galilee. So they entered the boat and went to the other side. And the text says, now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, and they did not have more than one loaf with them in the boat. Then he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. Jesus was speaking about a spiritual topic. He was mentioning the leaven as an analogy of something that spreads like the leaven, that leads the bread to grow, he was saying that the words of the Pharisees, the words of Herod and his court were like leaven inside the people who heard them. And the disciples should be careful with those words, just like us. An advice we must apply in our lives. You must be careful with the leaven of the Pharisees. The leaven of the Pharisees didn't cease to exist. Today, it spreads quicker through the internet and other means of communication. Every time leaven comes to you through your mobile phone, someone telling something to contaminate your heart and to remove the true faith, the purity of your faith. You must be careful with the leaven out there. So Jesus was warning them about this. But moved by their guilt, they haven't told anything to Jesus. Someone forgot the bread. Someone noticed. My God, we forgot to bring bread. And someone might have told the other, hush, say nothing, be quiet. When Jesus started to speak about leaven, what did they think? Moved by their guilt, the text says, and they reasoned among themselves, saying, it is because we have no bread. And then they started to accuse each other. You can imagine, I told you, the bread was there. The bag was just there. Imagine the confusion in the boat. But Jesus, being aware of it, said to them, Why do you reason because you have no bread? In other words, why are you talking about not having bread? Do you not yet perceive nor understand? Is your heart still hardened? Having eyes, do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? In other words, are you blind? Are you deaf? And do you not remember? In other words, don't you have a brain or any memory? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments did you take up? They said to him, twelve. Also, when I broke the seven for the 
4,000. How many large baskets full of fragments did you take up? And they said, seven. So he said to them, how is it you do not understand? In other words, I just multiplied the bread and feed a crowd of people. And you are worried that there's only one bread in the boat? Do you really think after feeding the crowd, I will let you starve to death? In other words, there was no need of faith for that. They only needed what? Only this. Just to think a little. Just a little. That's why Jesus at times, he had these moments of frustration with the disciples. Because honestly, sometimes he upsets us. We become frustrated. It seems that the person does not think. They have eyes but don't see, have ears but don't listen. They have a brain but don't think because they don't use intelligence. They only needed to remember. Hours before, they were feeding a multitude with the bread that Jesus had multiplied, and they were concerned with the lack of bread in the boat. What lesson do we learn from this? It is easy to talk about the disciples, but let's talk about us. How often do you, me, us, worry, we find ourselves anxious, upset with a situation, a similar situation with something we have already overcome through faith in God. How often? How often do you worry with a problem that if you just think a little, how many times before, God has delivered you from greater problems that today you would not even say you have a problem. It seems that we forget what God has done for us. We forget that He is faithful. We forget His word. We forget not only of promises, of what is written in the word, but things we lived, we've been through. There are some who it seems that they suffer with a spiritual amnesia. They forget everything. Some they forget in the sense of ingratitude. They are ungrateful. They forget where they came from, where God took them from. They forgot all that God has done for them in the past. They forgot who they were. And today, as the text says, the holy text says, they kick, they grew fat, and today they kick. When they were slim, when they were in the drought, in the desert, they were humble. Their head was down, their voice was respectful, but now that they grew fat, now that they are in the green pastures, they kick. They look down their nose. Their voice is arrogant. They forgot where they came from. And when we forget where we came from, we lose the first love. We forget God. We forget about faith. And we take a wrong turn. Far from God. So many forget out of ingratitude. Others, they forget out of anxiety. They only think about the problem that they are going through now. They want to solve the problem. They keep on calling to one and the other. They speak to one and the other. My God, pray for me. So and so pray for me. The person is so desperate with their problem, so anxious that they don't stop to think, to think. We cannot stop thinking. Stop remembering. Jesus said to the disciples, and do you not remember? Don't you remember when I broke five loaves to feed more than 5,000? And there was leftovers. Don't you remember that? We must remember. We need to stop and think 
Remember the past things, not the bad ones, but to remember the good things. As the old hymn says, count the blessings. Count how many they are. Count the blessings. Where God took us from. How faithful he was. How he never failed us. And just some of this exercise will calm our soul and heart and tell us God is faithful. He did in the past. He will do it again in the present and also in the future. So I rest. I trust in him. From my faith and intelligence, I understand. From what my eyes have seen, from what my ears have heard, my mind, my brain, remember. I know I cannot worry. Even if only one loaf of bread is left, I will trust that He, who is the bread of life, will meet my needs. So think, let's think just a little. You will not damage your brain. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.